Hello everyone, welcome to Lead Code Programming. Today I am going to discuss uh, one of the problems from the recently concluded bi weekly challenge. So, uh, the problem is uh, you need to find a coordinate with the maximum network quality. So, you will be given an array of network towers, uh, each having a coordinate x, y and a quality factor a cube. So, uh, you and you will also be given a radius parameter uh, which will uh, tell you the maximum distance within which a tower is reachable from a given particular from a given point. So, if the if your tower is uh, beyond this uh, radius, so the tower is not reachable uh, from the given point. And how do you calculate the signal quality of a particular tower? Uh, so, you need to use the formula uh, quality factor of the tower divided by one plus distance of the tower. From, from the particular point where you need to calculate the signal quality and the network quality uh, at a particular coordinate is the sum of uh, the signal qualities of all the reachable towers from that particular point so if you have uh, some four some five towers and only four towers are reachable from that point so you need to add the network quality of all that all the four towers and find the signal quality of that network quality of that particular point so now uh, you need to uh, find the network quality uh, of the net you need to find the network quality which is maximum uh, from a, a given point so uh, you need to consider uh, the possible points so let's say if you have n towers so you will be uh, considering n possible points so each point uh, representing one tower so you need to find the quality at all these points and find the maximum network quality among all those points so that point will be your uh, the best coordinate and if you have uh, multiple coordinates with the same network quality you need to return the uh, smallest uh, coordinate so like geographically minimum coordinates so that is uh, described here so if a coordinate x1 y1 is uh, smaller than x2 y2 if x1 is less than x2 or if x1 is equal to x2 then you need to check the second coordinate y1 is less than y2 and uh, they have specifically mentioned how do you calculate the uh, network quality here so if you see uh, yeah if you see this one the network quality is calculated using a qi uh, the quality factor divided by 1 plus t so you have that uh, uh, lines before that so it's like floor function so you need to take if, the, if it is a float value you need to uh, use the floor function and uh, consider only the integer value so that's the one thing that we need to keep in mind so let's look at the example uh, clearly. So let's say we have some five towers A, B, C, D, E. So and the radius uh, is given as 10. So uh, for those of you uh, to refresh uh, your knowledge on Euclidean distance, the formula is a square root of x2 min. If you have two points x, uh, x1, y1 and x2, y2, the distance of uh, the distance between these two points will be a square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So this is the formula that we need to use. And signal quality uh, as given in the problem description will be a quality factor of the tower divided by 1 plus distance of that particular tower from your chosen point. Okay, let's see how we are going to approach this problem. So what we are going to do is uh, take every point and uh, uh, take every tower and treat that as a, a best point. So from that point you calculate the distance uh, for all the remaining towers and then you calculate the quality. So this way you get quality from all, for all the uh, tower point tower positions and then you need to find the uh, best uh, uh, quality and find the best coordinate using the uh, found quality so let's see first let's say you take first tower so now you treat this tower as the best point now you calculate distance from this point to all other uh, towers and you then you calculate quality and uh, take a sum of all those uh, quality parameters then finally you get one a quality parameter when you treat uh, tower A as the best point. Similarly, you take the second tower, you then again you calculate uh, quality and distance parameters for all the remaining towers from uh, point B, tower B. Then you finally get a, a quality parameter Q2. Similarly, you do the same process for the third tower, then you get a quality parameter Q3. Then uh, do the uh, then you get a Q4 per tower D the quality signal the best quality signal signal quality then for uh, last point you get uh, best uh, signal quality as q5 so now uh, you find the maximum out of this then that will be your uh, best point best coordinate and you return that uh, coordinate
coordinate as your answer. So let's uh, go to source code and check how we can uh, do the implementation. So uh, when you see here, so what we have taken is uh, I have just taken a, a best parameter so that will uh, keep uh, best quality signal every time when you calculate for a particular tower. Then the best point will uh, keep track of a point at which you have the maximum uh, uh, signal quality so far. So now uh, this is basically a, a order of m square uh, solution. So for every tower you calculate distance with uh, all the remaining towers. So this you will be doing in two loops. So you take uh, for first loop which will consider every point. Then you take the x y parameter. So uh, the current tower, uh, the, so the tower of i you will be uh, taking as a current point. So you take x1 y1. Then the quality of quality factor for the tower will be the uh, third value from the towers array. Then you consider uh, every other tower. So you just skip uh, i not equal to zero because you skip the current tower whatever you have selected. Then you make sure that it has a quality parameter because the quality value quality factor of the tower can be zero as given in the examples. So if there is a if it is zero there is no point in calculating tower because you will get a zero quality value. So then you take uh, the tower j as a current tower then you take point x2 x2 y2 of the, uh, as a coordinates of the tower j then quality factor of tower j will be tower j of uh, the third value then uh, here uh, that you need one uh, thing that you need to remember here is the distance can be a floating point so you can have in a floating value so you need to take double not the integer so this is where i made a mistake in the contest and I figure it out uh, after two wrong submissions. So we need to take a double value for the distance. Because we need to compare the distance uh, with respect to radius. Because if it is uh, beyond the radius, you need to ignore those uh, towers. So you calculate uh, Euclidean distance. So square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square distance. So if the distance is uh, within your given radius, then you add the quality of that particular tower. So using the formula uh, q2 quality of the tower j divided by 1 plus distance. So you add it to your uh, current quality. So here I am taking quality as a uh, tower of tower i of 2 because when you consider the point, uh, let's say you consider the tower i as the your current point. So the quality of tower i will be the best because uh, when you see the formula, it will be quality of the quality factor of the tower divided by 1 plus distance. The distance of tower i from tower i is 0. So it will be q2 by 1, so which is nothing but q2. So I took uh, q as the initial value for tower, quality factor of the tower i as the initial value. Then we keep appending the quality factor calculated from the remaining towers. So this way, uh, so if your uh, quality, uh, signal quality that is calculated with respect to tower i is the best, it is uh, more than the best, then you update the best value. And in the problem description, they have told explicitly one condition. When you have two uh, towers with the same quality signal, when you find two coordinates with the same quality signal, you need to uh, use the lexicographically uh, comparison to find the smallest point. So if both are equal, then you just find uh, the smallest point using the conditions. So if x coordinate, first coordinate is same, you check the second coordinate. If the first coordinate is different, you just uh, return. So I am updating the best point with the, the coordinates. So this way we will finally we find the best point and, and you return the best point as a, your answer. So we are not using any additional memory other than just a vector of size 2. So it should be in the order of 1. So let's execute and see. Yeah, so it works fine. Let's submit and check once. Yeah, so it is faster than 100% of submissions, so 0 milliseconds, probably because it is a, the inputs are uh, pretty small. So as you can see in the constraints, so there will be a maximum of 50 towers, so, so it is a pretty good solution because the input is very small. So uh, thanks for watching, please do provide your feedback, thank you.